Oh shit, Ice Cube in the movie? This nigga love using Ice Cube. These niggas best friends. It starts off as some college rally type shit. And what the fuck is that? Is that a young ass Michael Rappaport? Ew, this nigga look crazy, bro. Michael Rappaport? More like fucking Michael Kelso. I'm so used to seeing this nigga as a middle-aged white dude. That shit is bizarre. It caught me off guard. I'm sorry. I never seen this movie before. Everybody's getting ready for the semester and meeting each other and shit. College movie? It's a college movie. What's up, Malik? Hey, what's up, dog? You think because you a superstar rookie freshman that you don't have to work? I got guys on this field to clean your clock in five seconds. Oh shit, is that Tyra Banks? I should've watched the opening credits. I was smoking weed. There's three main characters. There's Omar Epps, Michael Rappaport, and this white girl. She's roommates with Regina King. They different races. It's awkward. <laughs> Also, Regina King, she all-star. These white people are getting drunk as fucking fuck. The niggas are getting drunk too. Also, Buster Rhymes is here. He's an actual character in this. He an all-star. Michael Rappaport is fed up with all the noise, so he stands up and decides to take some action. I can't take this no more. Security! Damn, you snitching ass motherfucker. I thought you was about to go hard. You got up all quick. But I get it. Don't want to get beat the fuck up on the first day of school and shit. I got physics in the morning. It's like freaking Soul Train up there. <laughs> the cops shut the party down with some of that good old fashioned overt racism. But you don't hear that down the hall. You ain't sweating them because they playing that hillbilly shit, right? No, 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 no. Because I dig rock and roll. The white girl meets a second white girl. She's a feminist type. Talks about rape all the time. Real fun lady. Omar Epps goes to class and look at this nigga Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> this nigga look like Count Blackula. Ah. Your financial bill as of yet has not been paid. Thank you and good day. Nothing. What the fuck is this accent, Lawrence Fishburne? This nigga a Jamaican African vampire? Omar Epps gets a partial athletic scholarship and it fixes his tuition problem for the most part. But now he's got to run track forever or else he's out of school. So they got you running for the school, huh? Run, nigga, run. Everybody's hanging out. Michael Rappaport is being weird. The white girl gets drunk and starts to fool around with some dude. He ends up forcing himself on her, but she ends up getting away, but doesn't report that shit. He probably should have reported that shit. Regina King comes back and the white girl tells her what happened. They get a call from the guy and he and Regina King get into it. Look, didn't I just tell you she's not here? Put her on the phone, you black bitch! Oh my the party's still going. Michael Rappaport's still there. He's still being weird. Hey, what do you think they make you do to get into this rap, man? They should make you do something, right? Crazy stuff. I do it. Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin that boy. Hey, go ahead, come. The niggas bust in and whoop the guy's ass. Now the white boys, they mad. They don't like that. Officer, these gang members gang walked members. into our house on, and dragged members. our frat brother out for no reason. Yo, what the f Michael Rappaport then gets approached by some dude who asks him to go out for a drink. Turns out they're white supremacists just looking for new white homies. You already know where it's going. OE is running track. He's got a lot on his plate or something and loses concentration. Also, Ricky's on his team. Ricky and Omar Epps start getting into it. You're the only weak link on this team, bro. You can't stop me, son. I'm going to dance around you all night long. Look at this fool with his cave, bitch. Hey, don't that make you upset as a black woman? I don't want to. This bitch Tyra Banks got a whole alien here, bro. Holy shit, that shit look Photoshop. So we do understand. Why you wanna know where I live? I just wanted to walk you home, make sure you get this safe. I'll be okay. I just wanted to walk you back to your home planet, girl. Make sure you got there safe. It's different here than I thought it was gonna be, you know? No. Seems like everybody's sticking to their own. Taking up for their own. So, no more for Kel, so he's toasted. <laughs> we go back to the white girl's plotline, and it just sucks. It's boring as fuck. She's finding herself and coming into her own like the rest of them, yeah. But it's significantly less interesting. Is she a lesbian? We don't know. She's doing feminist stuff? Oh, yeah, wow. Like basic white bitch college stuff. Next, they're going to show her getting a fucking nose ring. 
I don't hate gay people or anything. It's not the subject matter. It's the execution. I don't even remember this bitch name. The other two stories are intertwined and suspenseful, and this one's just kind of on its own and boring as fucking shit. That shirt, man. You support the Black Panthers? 1995, coon. Omar Epps ends up tracking Michael Rappaport down and immediately turns him into a bitch boy. <laughs> he gets mad and trashes his room and goes off on his roommate. Omar Epps shows up again, and this time Michael Rappaport is ready for him. Kind of. Fuck all you, you damn Jews and niggas. Y'all stick together. You're all gonna die. You're gonna die, monkey. The racial tensions are higher than ever, and Malik ends up moving out of his dorm, and now he lives with Busta Rhymes or something? I don't know. Y'all ain't got no Kool-Aid up in this piece, man. The white girl decides it's too much racial tension and wants to throw a peace day celebration. Another reason I don't care for his scenes is because every time they switch to her, they play some fucking corny-ass Dawson's Creek-ass music. Yeah, Meanwhile, Ice Cube finds the neo-Nazi guys hanging out. They all start scrapping. The niggas end up winning, obviously, but the war is far from over. Michael Rappaport wants to prove himself, so the neo-Nazi guys give him a sniper rifle and tell him to go shoot somebody, preferably a nigga. Preferably, huh? Michael Rappaport ends up shooting Tyra Banks in real life, I mean in the movie, and she dies, and it's sad. Omar Epps, he don't like that. Omar Epps spots Michael Rappaport and starts running towards the building to meet him. <laughs> then the cops come in and save the day, kinda. With no way out of the building, Michael Rappaport shoots himself in real life. I'm in in the movie. Tyra Banks dies and everyone graduates and the neo-Nazis are happy too. Everybody's happy. Without struggle, there is no progress. Frederick Douglass. Nah, nah, I think he meant you look like Frederick Douglass. Get him! There's a lot going on in this movie. I was pleasantly surprised by all the performances though, especially Busta Rhymes. He's not the best actor in the world, but that shit was great. Also, Ice Cube and Lawrence Fishburne are great too. They even both got nominated for an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor or something. Lawrence Fishburne won though, fuck Ice Cube. Now, Ice Cube is actually attached to a lot of these iconic West Coast hood movies. This nigga kind of been in the film game for a long ass time. He was like the first rapper to transcend that far into the film industry. I give Ice Cube a lot of shit. But this nigga OG. The dialogue again is on point. It feels natural. John Singleton can write some compelling stuff, man. The movie's not without his problems, though. It can be a little cliche at times, a little melodramatic at times. Also, again, the white girl scenes are just boring as fuck and kind of pointless. But I'm sure John did his best with that. Writing a character like that was probably a challenge for him, and I gotta commend him for his efforts. Also, the film can be super heavy-handed at times. Like, this nigga Lawrence Fishburne legit be looking straight at the camera and talking to the viewer and shit judging me and shit. The preachy shit does get old sometimes, but it's not super prominent. For the most part, he tries to tell the story of these three lost, impressionable young college kids, and he succeeds. I'm done with this video. I don't want to do it no more. Be sure to tune in next time, though. We're doing all John Singleton movies, man. Next time is Poetic Justice. It's about a girl named Justice. She write poems with Tupac. Also, subscribe to me, you fucking idiot. I just got a bunch of new subscribers, man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to John Singleton. The man is a legend, y'all. Better than Spike Lee. Everybody be on Spike Lee nuts because he got a fun name to say or something. But nah, John Singleton. That's where you go if you want that real shit. Also, drop a like, please. Oh I'm trying God. to get this YouTube thing popping full time. I hate my job. Help a nigga out. Please, just like it. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. It's over.